tackles. Is there any explanation? Yeah, it just it's just all about us improving the missed tackles. Uh, if you see in the course of the game, uh, the missed tackles caused some of their explosive plays, but uh, we just got to clean that up as a defense. And I'm sure that's what we're going to do going into this week. <clears throat> but it's nothing to really panic about. Just try to clean it up. Well, how, how hard is that? Because really, until yesterday, it didn't seem like you guys had you know, bunches of missed tackles on the same play. Like no, it's just all about, you know, I think just little small things, uh, taking one step closer. When you think you're close, take one more step. Uh, wrapping up, trying to grab cloth. It's just the technique things about it. And uh, just focusing in on that going into this week. Morgan, what, what gives you the most confidence that this team's going to stay tight and not fracture? Uh, just what all we've been through leading up to this point. Uh, we put the hours in in training camp, put the time in in OTAs. I mean, we're up here, we, we're in this locker room more than we are with our actual family. So I think that's what kind of brings that bond together. And uh, it's not like one person is by themselves. We're all in it together and we're going to go through it together. And I think you see a person's character is when you're going through adversity. And I think we got a lot of great men with good character in this locker room. Even, even with all that, you know, Freddie was up there saying that you, know, you guys need to execute better and need to be more precise. I mean, how are some of those things still issues at, at this point? Uh, it's just all about you. Like I said, it's just like that's what we just did now. We just watched the film. And uh, even in a loss, you see some things that you did well, but it's also things that you can clean up on. And uh, the preparation was there. And then it's at times where we have to be a little bit more consistent with our execution. I think that's the key thing is about being consistent. And once we get that down, I mean, before you could put, go on a roll or anything, you just got to get one. And I think that's just our main focus, is taking it one week at a time and not getting ahead of ourselves. How much is this secondary going to miss Jermaine Whitehead? Are we going to miss him? Because, I mean, that was a guy that played a lot of snaps for us, a guy that, you know, he was a good teammate in the locker room. And I just feel like it was a situation where emotions got the best of him. But uh, in a situation like that, we're going to miss him. But I think for me personally, because I played with him in Green Bay, I, I take it past the football. And that's something where I just want to pray for him, you know, wish him the best and uh, get the help that he needs and, uh, and pray that he gets back on his feet. But as a team, just outside of football, just as a bond as brothers, we're going to miss him. But do you think it was the right decision the Browns made after what he tweeted? Uh, I feel the Browns have to make that's, that's above my pay grade. I feel like uh, they had to make a decision, and they made a decision and, and rolled with it. So we all have to do a job, and we're all held accountable and held to a certain standard no matter where we are within the organization. And uh, they stand behind the brand, and that's, I think that's just part of being a professional. you got to carry yourself a certain way even at times when you feel like your buttons are being pushed, it's still, you still have young people, young kids looking up to us and watching everything we say and the way we move. You talked about your respect for the guys in the uh, locker room and uh, how it makes you think that uh, the team is all right, that the mind is in the right place and that sort of thing. In terms of chemistry, uh, I'm, I, the, the question I guess is what's missing? The Browns shouldn't be two and six, they're two and six, so what's missing? Uh, it's really it's hard it's hard to put your finger on it you know what I'm saying it's just it's like we're we're there but now it's just like we got to find a way to finish and find a way to win games and I just I guess all you can do is just keep working and keep pounding at it I mean you can't sit back and panic or anything because we still have a lot of football left but I think the biggest thing we have to do is just stay together like you said that chemistry we all going through it together, so we just have each other back through it. In your opinion, uh, through your experience, the leaders need to step forward at times like these, and there are, are there some leaders on this team who have stepped forward, whether it's as a group or uh, kind of in small groups, uh, started some conversations? Yeah, you definitely want your leaders to step up, but I'm a firm believer of um, you lead the way you know how to lead. Like. If you're a vocal guy, okay, you step up, you be vocal at times. If you're a guy that leads by example, you be you. Like, don't try to be something else that you're not or try to be something that people expect you to be. You be yourself and lead the way that you know how to lead, whether that's vocally or just leading by example, doing the small things. Do you 
guys need to learn how to make those plays to finish? I mean, you think you know how, or do you have the confidence to do that right now? Oh, yeah, we have the confidence. I feel like if guys didn't know how to do that, I don't think they would be on this level. You know what I'm saying? So we have what it takes, and it's just all about, like I said, just being consistent and consistently executing plays. Like I said, the preparation is there, but it's not we want to be consistent. And when it gets to those close moments at the end of the game, being able to finish. Morgan, during the bye week or going into the bye week, Coach talked about this team was a group and he wanted them to become a team. Do you feel over these last couple of weeks this is more like a team or do you feel like it still has a, a group setting to it? I, I feel like it's a team. Like I said, I, I'm a person that look at judge people character basically like of what you how you overcome adversity and i think like through all this we we have been coming closer and closer together and like i said we'll spend more time up here together than with our actual family so we have a family built bond inside this locker room